So you believe that the attorney, Bill Barr, believes that somewhere in the hallways of the Department of Justice, there's an office of exoneration? No, that's not what I said. Well, I believe he knows, and I don't believe you put that in there for, for Mr. Barr. I think you put that in there for exactly what I'm going to discuss next. And that is, to so the Washington Post yesterday, when speaking of your report, the article said Trump could not be exonerated of trying to obstruct the investigation itself. Trump could not be exonerated. Now, that statement is correct, Mr. Mueller, isn't it, in that no one can be exonerated? The reporter wrote this. This, this reporter can't be exonerated. Mr. Mueller, you can't be exonerated. In fact, in our criminal justice system, there is no power or authority to exonerate. Now, this is my concern, Mr. Mueller. This is the headline on all of the news channels while you were testifying today. <clears throat> Mueller, Trump was not exonerated. Now, Mr. Mueller, what you know is that this can't say Mueller exonerated Trump. Because you don't have the power or authority to exonerate Trump. You had no more power to declare him exonerated than you have the power to declare him Anderson Cooper. So the problem that I have here is that since there's no one in the criminal justice system that has that power, the president pardons, he doesn't exonerate. Courts and juries don't declare innocent, they declare not guilty. They don't even declare exoneration. The statement about exoneration is misleading, and it's meaningless, and it, it colors this investigation one word out of the entire portion of your report, and it's a meaningless word that has no legal meaning, and it has colored your entire Time report. Time of the gentleman has expired.